The thing that makes space travel difficult is that everything we use to do it is so massive. To get to orbit, let alone to the Moon or Mars, you have to lift a lot of very heavy stuff. So how do you do that? How do you escape gravity, the force that holds us to Earth? Well, let's talk. Traveling through space is hard. That's why NASA's Space Launch System will have to be the most powerful rocket in history. How is SLS able to meet the challenges of exploring deep space? Well, when it comes to our journey to Mars and beyond, there are no small steps. Let's talk about low Earth orbit first, which, compared to Mars, is relatively close. The International Space Station is only 220 miles over our heads. For years, the Space Shuttle got us to low Earth orbit. It weighed about 4.4 million pounds and could carry 54,000 pounds into orbit. That's only about 18 family sedans worth of stuff, and that's because of that 4.4 million pounds of weight, 3 million pounds was fuel. The shuttle's fuel weighed more than twice the shuttle, its external tank, and the solid rocket boosters combined. It's like driving a car that requires a thousand gallon gas tank. The shuttle got us to low Earth orbit, but what about the moon? Well, the moon is 240,000 miles away, which is a thousand times further than the shuttle can take us. Thankfully, we don't need a thousand times as much fuel. The cool thing about space is you can coast. We've just got to go fast enough to reach the moon and let its gravity pull us into orbit. So you don't need a thousand times as much fuel, but you do need more. But the more fuel you have, the heavier your vehicle has to be, and the heavier your vehicle is, the more fuel you need. Tricky, huh? The Saturn V is the rocket that took us to the moon. It could carry 260,000 pounds into orbit. That's almost five times what the space shuttle could carry, and it could carry 100,000 pounds to the moon. However, to do that, it weighed six and a half million pounds, and six million pounds of that was fuel. That's right, to get to the moon, we had to build a vehicle that was over 90% fuel. Now, what about Mars? Well, when we go to Mars, it'll be about 50 million miles away. About 200 times further away than the moon. The space shuttle won't get us there. The Saturn V won't get us there. We'd kind of like to come back. So the family sedan isn't going to get us there. We need something bigger. We need a van or a bus or maybe the biggest rocket in the history of the world. We need the SLS. The first version of SLS will get us to the moon. The second version will be the tallest rocket in history. It'll produce the greatest thrust and it'll get the most stuff into orbit. The second version of the SLS will have about the same fuel as the Saturn V, but where the Saturn V could only go to the moon, the SLS will go to Mars. Next time, we'll talk about what makes the SLS so powerful and how the space shuttle and the Saturn V paved the way to Mars. Thanks for watching.